Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA database extension tutorial video. My name is Peter Leitner, one of the technicians here at SAP's headquarters here in Bayern, Germany. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the backup of a SAP HANA database with SEPSISM. At first, please make sure you have the latest regular SAP CISM client package installed on the database server and make sure that normal path backups are already working from that machine. When that's done, we can proceed setting up the backup jobs. Therefore, we open our graphical user interface and click the database server and create a new backup task with the backup type SAP HANA. As a source, you can enter just anything. We recommend you to enter your system's SID and then create the backup job. To get a better overview later on, we'll just go ahead and create a new backup task for the log backups so that they can be stored separately. When that's done, we've got those two jobs here, one for the database and one for the log files. Um, when that's done, that's it from the SAP CISM server side. Now let's go on to the database server, where we will first run the script opt CISM scale templates sm underscore install underscore sap sh the first script prompts us to confirm that we are using a standard installation using user SAP Pathis. That's important to detect the system identifier, which is done in the next step here. We'll just select the first one since that's the one we are going to configure the backup for. And then the script prompts us to enter some values just like the hostname of the SAP CISM server, then the hostname of the remote device server we want to send the backup to. We'll just press enter here because it's the, the SAP CISM server itself in this case. Next comes the exact name of the task you defined for data backups. That was the one created earlier. Next up, the task name for the log backups. Then the drive number of the drive you want to have your backup being written to. Next up, the media pool to be used for the backup. Um, make sure you have all of those values correctly, like case sensitive, because that's important. And the last question we are being asked for, at least in this section of the script, is to um, define one specific path for the SSB log file. This log file only becomes important when you have to find out what's wrong. Just press enter here to use the standard SAP CISM client LGC directory where in default all log files of the SAP CISM client are stored. The next two questions the script asks us is to enter the instance number and system database user password to have all the configuration work done by the script automatically. And then we can see a summary of the values we just entered. Let's just confirm that because everything's correct here. And then the script does its magic. And that's pretty much it. You can now go ahead, open the 
SAP HANA Studio and run the first backup. Make sure to select the destination type backend in here so that the backup gets written to the SAP CSIM server. There we go, that was really easy. Now that our first manual backup has been successful, let's configure the automatic backup so that no one has to start the backups manually. Therefore, we'll create a short backup script in OptSysm bin CSIM called hdbbackup.sh. You can find its content on the wiki page that's linked in the description below this video. After that script has been created and made executable, go back to the SIPSYSM GUI, go to scheduling, pick a schedule of your choice, click new, new command event, open the list and enter the path to your backup script in a new command. After that, make sure that all these parameters are correct and click OK. That's pretty much it. The backup script will now be executed with this schedule.